welcome back to my channel so where do i even start there's me hello hi guys how are you i've missed you you've missed me you know let's show each other love today we are doing a makeup video an updated 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 makeup video because i think the last time i done a makeup video was a while ago you know i think it was actually when i was in uni there's a reason why i go back and forth with my foundation brush my sponge and my contour brush my makeup has definitely changed from then i have a way smoother application now than before not to say my makeup was bad because it was not bad long it was definitely like a more smoother application and that's what makeup is just basically just a smooth application i don't think anyone does any, anything extravagant there's a couple one twos one twos here and there that while wow, their makeup is always looking like boom like you have uche's you know i love uche you have like bernice bernice's makeup is beautiful i just love like bemi to be fair i actually don't watch anyone anymore i actually just watch myself <laughs> Everyone's makeup is different. What helps me is I get tips from different people and then I just like make it my own thing. Whatever works for you, works for you and whatever don't, don't. I'm actually excited to do this. I feel like I haven't spoke to you guys in time. So I'm actually getting ready to go host my first ever event. Like this is actually in between my vlog. Once you're done with this video, head out to my vlog and watch what's going on in the, you know, in my life. I moisturize my face with a CeraVe cream and also, a I think it's a CeraVe moisturizing cream and also my SPF is from, is it Sandy something? So what we're gonna do now is we are going to prep and prime the skin. Like you gotta prep and prime the skin. I have now been using this milk primer, yeah? This, <laughs> this is really a game changer. When I mean your makeup does not move, your makeup does not move when you use this primer. This is my go-to primer. Some people say that they don't like it. Like, I know my sister doesn't like it. My sister uses NARS foundation. I don't use NARS foundation. I feel like it doesn't work for me. I feel like it makes my face very oily. It just does not work for me. I actually use Fenty. Fenty, I've been using it for a while now, like since like, for four years now, and I, I don't think I will change foundation. Even though I don't really put makeup on my forehead, I like priming my forehead. I like like making my whole face moisturized. The girls have been telling the truth. Having like a flawless like base really just makes your makeup so smooth. Glossier is another product that I use to make my skin more dewy. Like it really dews up the dew in skin yeah like it just dews up so i use glossy to dew up my skin and it kind of gives it like a glowy shine effect like you can <laughs> you can already see it's glowing it's literally glowing right now and just to put like a bit on my forehead so once that's done you kind of want it to sit in normally i would use a fan if you know me you know i do use a fan when i do my prepping and priming just to speed up the drying process just gonna it normally So now that my face is a bit like dry, you can see like it's literally shine, it's shiny, yeah? And then I go ahead and I apply my Clinique Moisture Surge Spray on my face. It's all about moisture. You want to moisturize your skin, you want to make sure your skin is feeling good. shade warm sand born this way concealer never lacking never lacking it's more thicker than a lot of other concealers it feels like a lot when you're putting it but when it's blended out it's literally the perfect like you just can't go wrong with born this way so now i'm just gonna blend it with my blending brush you guys know i don't conceal the top of my eyebrows i has still say the same i don't do it i don't like how it looks a bit i don't know why i just don't do it but i use a dark concealer to I'm gonna conceal the front of my eyebrow so it looks a bit more natural.
As you guys can see, it's just literally just a blending process of my foundation. With this, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I try not to put that much foundation anymore. I just try to put as little as possible, but enough so that my face is like covered enough with foundation, if you know what I mean. I don't know why, I just feel like, I don't like when the foundation looks too much. And I feel like Fenty already have like that. I don't know what's in their formula, but you literally don't need a lot of foundation on your face to make it look like you have foundation, do you know what I mean? I've just found out that it works for me, not putting as, lot, um, as much as foundation as I used to. Like, when I'm sweating, it doesn't make, like, you know when your makeup starts to look like proper oily and stuff, it also helps if you don't have a lot of foundation on your face. I've put some on my neck. My neck is definitely darker than my whole body. I don't know why, because I scrub my neck. Only dirty people don't scrub their neck. I kind of like work around my baby hair so I'll blend in between hair not too much as you can see you just kind of use your blending sponge to kind of like smoothen it out I also got this brush from Primark this one I got this brush from Primark this foundation no not Primark super drug it was kind of cheap so it was in the cheap section when you start off by putting a little bit you can always add like top up if you put too much you put too much and it's, it's, it's over the makeup is literally all about blending you just always want to make sure you're blending 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 you just want to dab up hair so it kind of looks so it kind of fades into your forehead you don't just want to stop with foundation hair and then there's it just looks like two different shades so if you saw me put like foundation hair you kind of just want to blend through the bridge of your eyebrows and just dab it up just a bit just to give it like a good gradient from your face to your forehead so that's my foundation done now we're going to conceal contour and you know the shebang so you guys can see that I used the second brush that I used to brush it. The I think it's the fibers on the brush that I really like, it, which is why I use it. It just helps blend out really nicely and not make your contour look harsh, which I hate. And I also got that from Super Drug with the other foundation brush that I was using. So obviously, let my concealer sit for a long while. Normally, I use a fan, which I have not changed. You guys know. Normally, I actually use a fan, but I don't have it, so I just let it sit. And I'm gonna grab, like, if you have a card, just to fan it down a bit more because. When you're blending it and it's dried up, it's like you have control over the concealer and it just like, you're gonna see it. You're gonna know what I'm talking about.
okay so you guys have obviously seen me blend my concealer into like my contour and my foundation where is with your concealer yeah so i use the shade one sign them on this way where is with your concealer and your contour to make like just look how smooth this base is yeah you really want to go back and blend out what you're blending into so as i put my concealer and i blend it out i go back to my contour because obviously the concealer has now overtaken the contour on top so you want to like use your contour brush whatever brush you use to kind of like blend into it so it intertwines yeah so it intertwines and then you want to go with your foundation brush or which is why i use the sponge because i just feel like it helps blend it properly to dab on top of like the two lines together so it blends it out that is literally the best explanation i can give you now i use two concealers i don't know if i was using this before no i was it's the elf concealer in the shade light peach this is just for the bright under eye that i will forever continue to use maybe when i get older but as of now no just gonna apply that and then we're gonna obviously wait for that to dry and i'm going to carry it in my face i'm gonna that's when i'm gonna bronze and whatnot whatnot and also do my nose So I really want to explain this bit. <laughs> Makeup is actually technical. So what I'm doing now is I'm basically blending the lighter concealer into the darker concealer. But because it's just a bright under eye, I'm not like using the amount of concealer I used for my first layer. So I'm not trying to conceal the whole surface of where I normally conceal. I'm concealing the lighter bit at the top because that's where the bright under eye is. And when you've kind of like blended it out a bit, so you're, obviously I'm going back and forth, I get the inside the bridge of my eye and like literally it's like half of what I'm concealing and I'm concealing the top. I'm obviously gonna blend it out up to the top here because I'll end up blending it out later, but I just want it to have a nice gradient. Now it's kind of like you have like two different shades. So what you do is the back of the brush that you was just using to blend, just use it to, kind of like bridge the middle and just like blend out the middle with the top so we kind of like I don't know how to explain it and then you just put it back a bit just to and that is kind of what like blends the two into each other it's literally just in the method of blending literally you just have to use your common sense there's a harsh line and you fix it by just dabbing the middle literally so now I don't know if you guys can see, but I can definitely see the harsh lines in between. You just want to use it to blend the outside of the concealer and the line together, not too harshly. You kind of want to be faint because you don't want the products from the foundation to come off. Blend the outside of the concealer so everything looks, because obviously the concealer is light but you don't want that to be like oh she's wearing proper proper like concealer so as you can see it's 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 blended out you want to go back very lightly just tap into it so that is my concealer routine i will just go keep going back and blending it if i feel like 
the lines are too harsh and that's what, literally what you just need to look out for just blending everything to make it look one even though you're using different shades you want everything to look as like one like like arts the foundation my foundation sponge is always a bit damp not wet the same with the sponge that I use to put my setting powder on. I just feel like it makes it set nice oh, it just makes it smoother. I'm using here the beauty in the shade. I think it's banana bread. Banana bread, yes. What you want to do is you want to like press into it or well, not too much. So this is how my product looks. It's not really too much. Why I kind of dab like this and dab like this, it's just dab like this and then dab like that is because I don't want to get like bare of the setting powder on the contour bit. But you just want to press in as much product as you can. It might look like this, but I'm going to end up dusting it off with a brush. So as I'm dusting away the excess powder from the setting powder, I'm also blending it into the product that's next to it, if you get what I mean. So I'm going to dust it off first, and then I'm going to blend, tap into it with the same brush. Can you see that? It just makes it blend out perfect. If you can see that harsh line, you can see that harsh line. So I've obviously dusted off the excess powder and now I'm gonna like blend, touch into it. Can you see that? So I'll do the breast, just touch into it. Can you see this flawless base, like this flawless application? It's all about the blending. You don't even need to do too much with the foundation, with the concealer. It's literally the blending that gets you there. I bake literally underneath my eye and I think that is what makes the under eye pop more, like baking just underneath the eye. Now I'm going to add my blush. It's NARS in the shade Torrid. This is my favorite blush, like, oh, it's my favorite blush. <laughs> So that is my blush on. So after I put my blush, I kind of use a flat brush to end the blush out because I don't like when it looks harsh with the contour. So I literally just dab on top. I've gone ahead to put my lashes off camera because it just takes me ages to get it done. Now I'm going to dust off the excess powder. So you, while you're dusting it, you kind of want to press it in. You can already see my under eye popping more than the other places that I actually put baking powder on basically. So yeah.
guys that is it for my makeup video i'm just gonna tell you what i done at the end and then we can be done with this so towards the end of the video you guys saw me obviously line my lips i lined my lips so obviously i actually have a fashion nova pencil if you guys have seen my fashion nova lip um i just did like different lip combos then you know about this pencil and if you don't then go back and watch that video but because it's finished i'm so sad because this pencil was genuinely like wow i've gone back to my old combo so i used the c18 i think it's the concealer yeah concealer and the fine c18 to line my lips i use the end of the brush of the fashion nova lip liner to line my lips i then go on to use two um lip glosses so I use the, this is my favourite, favourite lip gloss. The Pout Bomb Lip Gloss in the shade Candy. And I use the Makeup Revolution Lip Gloss in the shade Ditsy. And then I just go ahead and use a, just a clear lip gloss you can get from anywhere. I literally got mine from the hair shop for a pound. And then at the end, you guys probably saw me go over my Huda Beauty powder even after I sprayed. So after I sprayed, I used a bit like it's literally like this on your brush like you should hardly see it it should not be a lot wipe it my face is absolutely fucking flawless like i don't care what anyone says this makeup combo is chef's kiss like and i'm so happy my makeup look is starting to look like how i want it to look i feel like before i liked it but it was very much very much surface level now it's like wow my face actually looks flipping flawless i hope you guys enjoyed my updated 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 makeup look so this is my most recent makeup tutorial this is my everyday look every time i go out i'm gonna do this combo i don't know any other combo to do i'm not really like an eyeshadow person like a i just like it when my face looks smooth and good and very much melanin that that is that is my vibe Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, obviously. And if you want to see more of my makeup looks, comment below. All the products I use will be listed in the comment section, not the comment section, the, the description section below. Like, I looked buff without makeup, but like, makeup just, you know, but <laughs> I'm pretty without makeup anyway, so yeah. I'm going to love you and leave you.